Hi, how you doing? This is Ty Nightball, TK24 Sports. Now on today's show, we're looking at this weekend's fixtures coming up. Who's gonna get that last place for the Champions League and why am I saying that? City's already there, United's already there, Leicester's got one hand on that you know, top four finish. Then you, it's a battle between West Ham, Chelsea and Liverpool. Now the reason why I say that is because all the other teams, you've got Spurs and everything in the mix, but they're not really going to be in the mix. They're not consistent enough. They're not good enough to get into the Champions League. I'm not saying that West Ham is better than them, but at the, over the course of, we're going to call it 38 games, when you look back on it, West Ham have been very consistent in what they have done. Now, who's going to make it? Is it going to be Chelsea? Is it going to be West Ham or is it going to be Liverpool? Now, Liverpool have looked all out of sorts, haven't they, this season? They don't look like the team that was bullying teams last year and then the year before that. And then potentially maybe the year before that, they've just really and truly slipped away. No real investments in the summer that's actually come in to challenge the likes of Firmino, uh, Salah and Mane. Now, one of those three or two of those three or maybe three of those three could actually end up going this season. Chelsea look really good. Now, they've done the right thing by sacking uh, Frank Lampard and getting Thomas Tuchel in. And they have revived their season. They look really good. I mean, the game midweek against Real Madrid away from home. Now, the first 25, 30 minutes, it was, wow, it was like a masterclass. I uh, thought Real Madrid's reserves were playing and the way that Chelsea went out and set their business out. Finished off 1-1, of course, but they got the second leg to go next week. So that'll be an interesting game. But back to the Premier League. West Ham, they've got a tough game on Monday, which they play Burnley. Burnley, of course, battered Wolves, but West Ham are no scrub now. They have form, they've got confidence, and they've got Jesse Lingard. Of course, they've got more than Jesse Lingard, but he's on loan from Manchester United, but he looks to be revived and, you know, just full of life and happy to be playing again. But who's going to get that top four place? I, I don't think Liverpool will. I do think... If Chelsea win this weekend, and I believe they're playing Fulham, and if they win this weekend, that just gives them a bigger, you know, step in to the Champions League. That'll put them six points in front of West Ham, who have to play on Monday. And mm, that's going to be a hard one. It's going to be a tough one. And then you've got United and Liverpool, and I think if United win, which they're going to want to do anyway, it's against Liverpool, it's at Old Trafford, that will kill off... Liverpool's chances, and then there's only going to be four games to go, four, 12 points in total to go for, then I, I think it could be night-night if West Ham do not win against Burnley net on Monday. Now, should West Ham win and they still keep that three-point margin between themselves and Chelsea, Chelsea then have to go to City the following weekend. And City, if they beat Palace this weekend, will only have to have win. Well, will only have to win one more game to win the Premier League, and they'll be at the Etihad. And what better than to do it against Chelsea? Should both teams then as well get into the Champions League final? This could be a dress rehearsal, so no one's going to pull any punches, and they don't need to rest any players for that weekend because they want to play the game already midweek next Wednesday to determine if they're both going to get into the Champions League final. So as you can see, there's a lot to play for with four games to go. There's a lot riding on this right now with four games to go. If United um, win and they beat Roma, will they rest against Liverpool? I don't think Solskjaer's got that mentality. I don't think the players are going to want to be rested regardless of what the score is going to be against Roma. So as you can see, there's so much still at stake with four games to go in the Premier League. The race for the top four. I would love to know your views and I'd love to know your thoughts. Please leave a comment below. Make sure you like, subscribe and turn on that notification. Share this video and help us grow. Help, we're, a growing we're a growing channel. We're growing every single view, every single day, every single video. So once again, thank you for watching. I'm Ty Knight for TK24 Sports. You've been great. See you soon.